Hi everyone, that's you all are doing well. This is lesson number 85 and the last lesson of the series. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to allow the users to basically view the invoices and download the invoices. All right, so let's get started. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a billing controller with a billing index view and then we're going to create the route. All right, so let's quickly open up our terminal. All right, and then let's quickly create our billing controller. In order to create the controller, we just do PHP artisan make controller. Now in this case, we're going to call it a billing controller. So, but it will be under our dashboard folder. And then we just do billing controller. Okay, so that's totally just like that. All right, since I already created one, so let me just quickly show you where that is. So let me just open it up. So billing controller right here. So this is basically the one after you finish. All right, so in that, we're just going to have an index view. So let's just quickly create a public function, and this will be an index. All right, but before a person can access this route, we just want to add middleware. So let's just do a public function, and we're just going to add a construct in here like this and then we're just going to return this middleware so let's just do like this middleware all right and the middleware we just want to add the person must be authenticated just like that all right just to make sure that nobody access this route without being authenticated all right now the thing is what we're going to do in this we're just going to return a view Right, so with the index, we're just going to return a view, and the view is going to be dashboard dot billing dot index. All right, just like that. I already created the view, so if you haven't created the view, in order to do that, we go to resources, views, dashboard, billing index, like this. Okay, so basically what I've done is I have an app layout. Okay, so we use the app layout because the app layout is kind of for the dashboard part. Then we added a slot for the header, and we just put an H2 with some Tailwind styling, and then we just put it billing like this. Because we're going to add a table in here to basically loop over all the invoices. Okay, just like that. Right, now let's quickly pass the invoices to the view. All right, so let's just do that. You can create it in two ways. You can create a variable like invoices, like here. Okay, do it like this. And then you can just get the authenticated user like this. So we get the authenticated user, and then we just want to get that authenticated user's invoices, just like that. So you can do it like this, and you pass it here with a compact method, and then you just say invoices. All right, so that's one way you can do it. But what I'm going to do, which I'm quite growing accustomed to doing, is I'm like to return it inside because of I'm getting used to doing things with live wire and I like to do it like this so and we just put it invoices like that and just like this and just remove the semicolon just put a comma right there but now as always just make sure you bring in the auth facade right there that one right there otherwise it's not going to work right so now we're passing all the invoices to that view all right to the billing view but let me just show you where this is coming from so let's quickly open our user model all right, you will see that we use a billable trade right there. So if we go in the billable trade, you will see manage invoices, right? This one right here. So if we go down, you will see there's a whole lot of options. So invoices for, then you can have a whole lot of things, but I'm just going to do it in a simplistic way. So let me just go down, right? So you will see there's an invoices method in there. It will basically get all the invoices for you from Stripe, okay? So that's it. Right, so you can obviously go and explore that billable trade a little bit more to find out if you can do some additional stuff or you can consult the documentation. Okay, it's awesome stuff. Right, so let me just close this up. So I'm getting all the invoices. I'm passing it to the view right here. So this one right here. Now what I'm going to do is I need to create but I'm a table so that I can loop over those invoices. Okay, so let's quickly do that. So under resources, views, I'm going to use the admin post index view, this one right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that one open on the side right there because there's a couple of things I just want to basically copy over to this side. 
right? Because I want to use the same table. All right, so let's quickly do that. So we're just going to create a section, all right? A section, and we're just going to give it a class of PX6, like it is there. And then I'm just going to do an overflow hidden border B. Okay, so let's just quickly do that. All right, so in that, we're just going to have a table and with a minimum width of full. So let's just do that. So table, and we just want to give it a minimum uh, width of full. Now, just for all the bootstrap lovers out there, I was a big fan of myself until I fall in love with Tailwind. And once you start getting used to Tailwind, oh, there's no going back. All right, so the next thing is we just want to put in here a table head. All right, but before I do that, let me just put like this table head and just give it a BG um, gray of 500. Okay, so in that, we're just going to add a table row. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need the invoice. Let me just put an X table like this. All right, and I'm just going to put the head. All right, so I'm using a blade component that I did create. So it's what what this is for. So let me just do like this. All right, so the first one here for the table head will be the date. The next one will be for the total, for the amount. And the last one will be for the action. Now the action, let me just put it here. That just download instead of just action. All right, let me... Uh, let me just do it like action and just like the date total and action all right so this action will basically we will do a download button okay so let me just do it like this okay so then that's the next thing all right so let's move down underneath this we're going to do the body so we're just going to do table body all right like this and i'm just going to give it a class okay so class of divide y let me just copy all of this, just like that, and paste it in here. Right, and then we're going to do a for each loop. So let's do a for each loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop over all the invoices. Just remember, in the billing controller right here, we're passing all the invoices of that authenticated user, okay? So just like invoices as invoice. Like this, and then we're just going to loop over that. And let me just get this the first one. All right, this will be a table row actually. Before we do that, so let's just add a table row in here. All right, so then we're going to do X table. And let's do it like this. Mm, then we just add the data like that. All right, so the first one, this one will be for the invoice date. The date right there is okay so let's just do that so we're just going to do the invoice and then we just want to get the date of the invoice all right just remember all of this that i'm doing right now is in the billable trade so if you want to go and explore more options you can do it right there okay so let me just do that again so in the user model so in here you just go to the billable trade there's manage the invoices and in there is a whole lot of methods and then if you go to the invoice itself you will see them there's kind of a whole lot of things that you can do in here so you can just go and explore them on your own all right so let me just do that i just want to do the most simplest way so that it can work right and we're just going to do to format it and let's do like to format it um date string okay i think that's the right thing all right so let's move on the next one that we have so x uh, table all right let me just do a dot data right so this one will be for the invoice date when or the invoice total sorry that one was already created so invoice and this one will be the total this right let's move on the next one this one will be also hmm, let's create an anchor point for the person actually to download the invoice let's create an anchor tag all right, an anchor tag, and we're just going to do the target. Uh, and we're just going to set that to blank, uh, meaning we just don't want it to open the PDF on this side. We just want to download it on the next window. All right, so it must create a new tab for that. And we're just going to say download. 
just like that. Now the thing is we need to create a route. Okay, so the route will be download. I'm gonna call it download. Just do it like this. We're gonna call a route download. We haven't created any of these routes yet, but we're gonna create that in a second. Now we need to pass in the invoice ID. Let's just do it like this. Invoice ID like this okay so we got the invoice date we got the total of the invoice and then we have a download button so that they can download the invoice right let's quickly open up our web routes right so let's quickly create the two routes now the first route this one will be a get route to get the index all right so let's do a route get all right so this one will be basically if go to the billing all right and we're just going to do billing invoices just like this okay invoices and then we're just going to go to the billing controller and just make sure we import that okay and this is going to go obviously to the index bit so everything is quite good right there so this will be um, let me just do instead of just index i'm just going to change this to billing all right, so let's copy this one down this is going to be for to download the invoice so i'm just going to put put a parameter in here for the invoice okay like this in order to download that so i'm just going to go to the billing and i'm just going to instead of index i'm just going to create a method in there called download just to kind of keep things simple if you want to kind of do it any other way you want to you can so i'm just going to create a download just remember this download is in our index that we're expecting right there but it's expecting a parameter of invoice id right so this is the invoice id it's expecting right there okay so index in this right here all right so let's quickly create in our site nav add this route okay so let's quickly go to our site nav and in our site nav i've created a billing so right now it's just have a title of billing site name title right there and instead of the profile dot show i just want to add that billing out like this okay just like that all right let's quickly see if we can view this hopefully it's not ugly so let's quickly click on that to the billing right here so as you can see that's the table that we created so as you can see the date it's when it was created and this is the total of that invoice and this is the action that download button all right so now if we click this button we need to be able to take into a new tab in order to basically download the invoice all right but we haven't created this method inside our billing controller yet so let's quickly do that all right so in our billing controller what we want to do is we want to create a public function and i just want to call this one download right and i want to pass in the request and a request like this and we just need to get receive basically the invoice id like this all right and then what we want to do in here is we need to do return basically whatever is needed so let's just return the request request we just want to return the request user all of this is in the documentation so i will leave a link in the description for you guys so that you guys can go and read more about them okay so i'm just going to do a download all right but this one is going to be called download invoice invoice all right and then we need to pass in the invoice id all right as a parameter okay so let me just do it like this and the vendor we need to know who the vendor is the vendor is going to be just i'm just going to give it a simple name so this is basically the company that company name that you want to add in my case i'm just going to use bolt incorporated is basically a theme all right and the next thing is the product all right so product uh, product this is what the basically the user is currently subscribed to and i'm um, so you can call it whatever you want but i'm just going to get the authenticated user again right so i can use the auth for the start like that or i can do auth like this i just wanted to show you guys both ways the authenticated user and we just want to get this subscription um, let me just do this subscription 
you, the, now the only thing is if they have multiple subscription, this is not going to work very well. So you need to kind of think how you can basically pass the basically the parameter of the current subscription of that pro in product name in that invoice. You can pass it through to this uh, invoice right here. You can do that. Um, that's actually the best option, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of hack since there's only one. So I'm just going to get that right there. Okay. So basically what I mean is if you, let me just go to the billing, to the index view. All right. So what you can do, you can pass a second parameter of basically what that, this current invoice, the product ID is, or the product name, whatever. You can pass that to that component to be able to download it okay so then you can receive it in here as well and then you just pass it in here okay but for me i'm just doing a little bit of a hack right just like this right so let's quickly see if we can download that all right so let's click the download it will go to the new tab and it will give us a pop-up right here so let's hopefully it works as you can see it works right here so now we can just change it To whatever invoice I'm just going to put ADD and I'm just going to press save let's just save that all right so as you can see successfully saved so let me just quickly open it up all right so as you can see it gives us the date of the invoice it gives us the invoice number right there it gives us that bolt incorporated you can even download packages to actually use for invoicing and then you can always customize it however you guys want. But I just wanted to show you the most easiest way possible to do that. And here is the billing to and John Doe, Street Address, all that kind of stuff. Right. So that's the end of this series, guys. If you think it was worth it, your time, please give the video a like. If you have any questions, please ask them for me in the comment section. And yes, for those that want to get the certificate, please... Um, Send me the details, email me, and I will have a look at it. All right. Thank you, guys, and see you in the next one. Adios.